Okay, hello again. Continuing here to do some missions around the Pulse region. I'm on the Yasif Massif right now. And oh. This will be the next mission I'm going to be tackling. It's going to require me to trek a ways. Let's continue on while listening to elevator music. There's going to be a little scene up here as I round this corner. First I've got this enemy group. For loot, as always. Pretty easy enemy group there. For loop. Something on your mind? Huh? Oh, I, uh, I was just thinking. Something complicated? <laughs> I was just taking it all in. The sky here, the trees, the sunlight, the smells. When I was on Cocoon, I never dreamed a place like this could even exist. But now, here I am, on Pulse. If I hadn't gone to those fireworks, if I hadn't been sitting in that same train car during the purge, if anything had been different, I'd never have had a chance to see this. Mm -mm. No. I'm sure you would have wound up here. Don't you remember you promised me? You promised me that we'd come and see Grand Pulse together. Uh, really? I... When did I do that? I don't know. How about another lifetime? <laughs> uh, what does that even mean? To tell you the truth, I've told so many lies. It 
It's all a blur. Well, you know, sometimes you have to lie about stuff to keep yourself going because you're afraid. Or to protect someone else so they don't get hurt. Sometimes even the things that everyone in the whole world thinks are true turn out to be lies. At the end of the day, though, it's not the lie that matters, but what you do after you tell it. Work hard enough, and you can make it true. I mean, maybe we both forgot. Maybe we did promise to see Grand Pulse together. And Cocoon. <sighs> Hope. Do something for me, will ya? Keep smiling. I... It makes me happy when you smile. Uh, I... I didn't know you felt that way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you were joking? Now we're even. <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> And that's a pretty good troll by hope. Okay, up around here. I'm gonna need this to squeeze past these enemies. Let's wait a second for them to move. There we go. And then I'm going to be fighting this enemy group for some more loot. Start retry to get my Deceptus all back. sick on gorilla for a little bit longer just because once uh in frost gets up right there my party gets a lot more powerful or rather snow just gets so powerful that he kills everything stupid quick that's weak to frost I'm not even bothering switching paradigms because it's just so handy to have Saboteur up through all this. I can rip through these enemies fairly mindlessly with this setup. And they didn't even really get to do anything. When you take one of the end moves and stick it on top of like Frost Strike with End Frost or Flame Strike with End Fire, your damage output on those particular moves skyrockets. It's a very, very powerful tactic, especially for enemies with elemental weaknesses. And if the enemy doesn't have an elemental weakness, well, there's in peril to give them those. And this enemy that's flying around here is really obnoxious to get past.
sorry about this display right here, but this... I don't know how he keeps just squeaking towards me, even when I have to set this all up. I'm going to want to save this to set this all. And start retry. Hop into the Crystarium real quick. Jinx. Very good ability. Quite enough to get her up into that upper level. I'm actually going to carry him off to the side here for these bar moves. Double check equipment. It's been a little bit since the last time I played and then I need to pop in here. Sentinel. 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 Or actually... That's not exactly how I want this one set up. I want this to be... Commando Ravager... Medic. And of course from the spot where I start retried from that particular enemy for my where the mission mark was, I'm right on top of where that enemy circling around that open area is. It's that was lovely. Anyway though, here goes the mark. Challenge and Steel Guard. Let some buffs get up. Switch to protection and get a little health back. back on. Try disaster. Wind Slash is going to do a lot of damage. Diversity. Okay, and then the fight basically ends right here. This guy does not have a ton of health. And that mission was actually a lot easier to 5 star than the last couple. And the Sorcerer's Mark is an absolutely amazing reward. Which is going straight over the Magician's Mark. Is ready for another level. is going to get the in abilities. Those are going to help make him a much better character. And she'll keep working towards her ATB, just heading straight in that direction. Okay.
Oh, this lovely enemy constantly getting in my way. Always gonna catch me, always. But I made a little progress towards the exit of his circle. There we are. And that right there wasn't the enemy being obnoxious, that was me being stupid. I was going to try and squeak a little bit further forward before throwing this up. This is going to be one of the last treasure chests I need to get from this area. And this is such a long trek through all this, I'm actually going to need to pop against this enemy group. Deceptisol, run, Deceptisol again, run to the enemy guarding the treasure chest, and then start retry and then actually do a fight. And we're actually going to keep the same paradigm set up for this. Because with all these threatening enemies here, it's really going to help to have a sentinel out here. While I kind of get things moving. And let Vanille get her buffs up, and, or her debuffs up, while Saws gets his buffs up. And then let Saws get some more buffs up. Cures. Keep yourself alive. Well, that was obnoxious. When all the enemies just decide they want Vanille dead, there's sadly not a whole lot I can do about it. They actually have to, you know, want to attack my other characters. We gotta win this. Let Vanille get some debuffs up. Even though I'm taunting them, they're for some reason attacking Vanille, which is really obnoxious. Hey, come on, Vanille. You don't always need to wait for a full ATB to heal. It's one of the worst things about this game's AI. They always wait for a full ATB gauge, and it's, in a lot of situations, the patently worst decision. Oh, 
You know, a little more aggressive here. There's a lot of the threats gone. It's mostly... The main threat is just the sheer number of powerful enemies. I think I switched to that just in time. I don't think Vinyl would have survived that without the Sentinel buff. Oh, those are the only two debuffs Vinyl can get up on that enemy, so she's not going to saboteur anymore. Which is another thing that's frustrating about the AI. It's like, it still builds chain, even if you're not inflicting them with a status effect. Come on. We'll get some HPs back. Yeah, not the prettiest, but I got an Age Assault, which is really nice. Isn't the camera lovely right there? It's like, oh, I can't see what's in front of Snow's face. Let's try that again. Hold to that inside edge there until the camera decides to actually get behind my character instead of pointing at the ground. I had a feeling it was going to set me all the way back here. I was hoping to see if I could get to the far end of their enemy detection range before having to refresh this Deceptisol. I just made a horrible mistake. That was the first Deceptisol I used, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to save right here. And I'll be doing the next mission here shortly.